wanted to give you a quick little update slash story time of what I did this weekend. Actually, it was just like one day on Saturday that we were out. So my boyfriend's sister recently had her birthday and she wanted to go celebrate it at the King Spa and Sauna, which is a Korean place where people get naked, but they're in separate gender room so there's a female and a male room we got there it was my first experience by the way of course this was like very new to me and i didn't know what to expect really i was kind of watching conan's youtube video and it was like whoa oh my god so we walk in they give us a bracelet and then they'll have like the number of our locker and where we can put our stuff i brought a bag with me i brought some new pair of underwear just because you know i know i was gonna wash because she told me i was gonna shower there there's some people that i know from my social media and they're there then we go into the locker rooms the two girls that i knew were just like okay i'm not gonna go in there naked like i'm not gonna do it like i'm they're, they just got into their uniform and then just went out to the dry sauna co-ed place where girls and guys can just go into a sauna room where it's hot or cold so yeah i was just like left alone with strangers after that and i was looking at my locker i was like should i get naked right now like how do i just like do this like there's so many girls there though that are just like like going out they got confidence to do it i'm just like you know what after like 10 minutes of thinking about it i was just like we're all girls here we have like the same parts we might have different body types like i try not to judge girls just for their body there's benefits to going into the steam room and just having a nice relaxing day for my body i'm just gonna go for it tuck it all off you have to shower right before you get into the tubs you have to be clean and pure so you get the shampoo there's there and you're just washing yourself scrubbing away the dirt and whatnot before you get in everybody is naked okay so if you're wearing clothes it looks weird i know it sounds crazy but i was actually kind of comfortable being naked even though you get stared like you get a little glimpse of people like looking so what first i head into the steam room and it was so nice because it's like i feel the sweat coming out i feel my pores and my skin are lifted and i went into the hot tub and then there's a hotter tub the square ones with like fountains coming out and it's hot but i like the medium to hot and then you're supposed to head into the cold bath where there's like waterfalls and it's really cold i'm just like shaking it in there and after that i was like okay that wasn't that bad i take another shower they have lotion there for me to put on grab as many towels as i want put in my co-ed uniform it was hot pink shorts and it was long and i wasn't wearing a bra i wasn't wearing underwear i just wanted to like feel free as a bird you know what i'm saying like while i'm there like that was an experience so like now i'm just like chill i head into the co-ed area where i see everybody i know eating and then i'm trying to head into the sauna rooms to like keep giving my body some benefits or whatnot but it feels like you're baking in an oven sometimes there's a choker charcoal rock room you're supposed to bring a towel in there and just like lie down usually the most time is like 20 minutes but like even after 10 minutes like i would feel so dizzy and loopy just like walking trying to get up there was also an ice cold room oh, that was freezing i think i stayed in there for like just two minutes there was an oxygen room it had a different smell but yeah you could feel like the oxygen then there is an iodizing room where it had like red uv beams i guess going into your face in a relaxing room there was a movie theater well some people just sleep there because it's super dark and like there's a recliner there's a food court area i didn't really eat that much there because i waited well, i was there from 11 a.m to 5 p.m so it was a while and i was getting hungry so we headed out to an indian vegan buffet i didn't get the buffet but i did get some options of raw vegan pizza and i got raw vegan cheesecake raw meaning it's not processed much or like not at all to keep all the enzymes and the vitamins in it i also got a garlic naan bread i like dipping that in like lentil like soup it tastes really good it's like not really soupy it's a dip it it's like dippable texture you know what i'm saying so yeah it, it was yummy and i also had a green smoothie with kale and almond yogurt overall it was just super delicious i really like that place that was in chicago on our way out after eating, I just happened to stumble upon this 
palm reading sign poster and I just am so fascinated with palm reading. I got my palms read. That was 2016. Oh man, it's been two years, not a year. But anyways, she just read this hand. The one I went into Chicago though, I wanted to talk about that and when we were going upstairs, like he was just sitting on the floor already like waiting. It was very hard to understand him because he was kind of he was said he was from India and his English was kind of vague, but you know, you could still kind of understand him. Anyways, he was reading my palms and he was saying, you know, he read this one and he read this one. The last girl just read this, but he read both and I haven't gotten this one read. Oh, so he said that I would have everything, like the car, the house, the kids, by the time I'm 32 and I'm 20 right now, so I have like 12 more years until I guess I do that and I'll buy one house, he said. I'll have two kids, and I'm like, what, two kids? I'll have good health, good education, and good money. And he says I'm born under the moon sign, so that means I have a clear mind, a clear heart. Some people might be jealous, and he's like, no problem, no problem. And I was like, oh, okay, I can believe that. For the most part, he said everything was good, and just mostly like everything's good, except for like maybe like two things. I'll get a lot, but I'll spend a lot until I'm 32, and then I'll have a lot, a lot. I guess he says compared to the first psychic reading I got with my palms I haven't made a video about that if only I did but that was like when I was 17 I should have started YouTube a long time ago you know because I love looking back at these videos anyways he said that I should really focus on my education because that she sees me as a nurse working with kids as like a pediatrics and I was like oh dang and she said the same thing too that I would have two kids I really do want to work with kids because I have five younger siblings I'm the oldest and I just know I'm gonna be there for them. I wanna take care of them. And I wanna take care of other babies too. That was my little story time. I just wanted to share that though, to get it down for memory. It was fun too though. It was a great experience. If you're gonna do that, just go for it. Like YOLO, hashtag YOLO. Make sure to subscribe and click that little bell to turn notifications on. Leave a like, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.